Clarice. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it. Okay. What's that say? Oh no, not Chef no. Ash. I never feel guilty eating anything. Hannibal! <laughs> and Hannibal makes some good, good food. Dr. Lecter is in the kitchen preparing our try not to eat Ooh. Hannibal no, feast. No, well, you can't say try not to eat. I like that Ed's just sitting here. I know, I'm just, I'm just, just creeping me out, man. Ooh, beautiful. Loin? Cumberland sauce. I'm oh so God, excited. I remember that scene. Looks absolutely delightful. You are a <laughs> creep right now. Oh my God, that's so... Oh. Looks great. Here we have a delicious loin served with a savory and sweet Cumberland sauce. What's the Lloyd's last name? Lloyd. The loin of Lloyd. <laughs> Why are you being so creepy, man? Fine dining experience. I really can't let that down. I don't get many it of those. Is. It might be easier to pass. All of these foods are derived from a show that is kind of, I think, mostly grosses me out. Are you eating? He's eating. Okay, you're creeping me out. Are you gonna do it? Are you gonna do it? I want to so bad but I'm gonna pass. Oh, what? I see what you're saying. But it seems like you're definitely- I'm feeling pretty grossed it. out too. Are you definitely gonna take a bite? No. All right. Oh, oh. Here's the thing. I know you're not serving us a human because, well, there are some laws about that, but I may have gotten into my head with this jerk playing it up so much. Okay, let's get it. Mmm. Oh, it's super sweet. Delicious. I don't know, I feel like it'd be easy and you're not making it easy. You're gonna eat this. And you didn't eat Willy Wonka? If they served me Willy Wonka, then maybe that Okay, Edward! I can just see how much you wanna try this. I mean, the way you're saucing up these, these pork loins. Are you trying to make me lose? What? <laughs> What'd you bring Tupperware for? You never eat! Wait a minute. You took it out of my bag? Yeah, no, not about it. I mean, come on. Look, look at the way he prepares the meat. The fact that he like scraped it with his pinky just like unsettled me. Oh Try not God. to eat, I will not eat. <laughs> Absolutely not. I mean, I should eat it. I've ruined my liver. <laughs> Buttery, flaky, and oh so decadent, this kidney pie is made with red and yellow beets and layered chevre. Wait, what is this? What it's is this a little Hannibal mask. Oh. oh my god. Whoa, this is That's a cute. Mask. Isn't that cute? That's so cute. Gladys. I mean, you really shouldn't be eating kidneys anyway. You shouldn't be eating human kidneys. I mean, that is like mm. literally the body's filter. I've never seen kidney look so good. Mm. I've never seen kidney look so well maintained in a pie before. Have it's you had just it before? too chewy. Yeah, I've had it before. It's chewy. I still can't believe you're eating. I think that's the real switcheroo here is that you're eating and I'm not. I can't oh. feel like I'm missing out the whole like episode. You're gonna be, if you're not gonna eat, you're missing out. It tastes very intelligent, very human. How do you know? You don't know what I eat at home. If you didn't tell me there was kidney in it, I'd probably be down to eat it. Because Dr. Lecter is Ed, a you master scare chef. me. So you're saying Chef Ash isn't? I don't know, we haven't seen Chef Ash in a little while. See, guys are just creepy. You're just so creepy. Oh, that's liver. Why does he do this? Why is he like this? This show really explores the idea of cooking being a little disturbing. <laughs> Ruined it. Oh Ruined the eggs. <laughs> oh, it's, like it's, a, it's um, just a. It's just a regular meat omelet. Quiche. No, there's not a regular meat omelet. Sacramento omelet with liver and sweetbreads. Liver. And sweetbreads. That is a beautiful, beautiful dish. Wow. God, you got quail eggs! Oh my god, I just want to be me to This traditional Spanish dish, a sacrament omelet, is one of Dr. Lecter's specialties. Okay, I will try it if you try it. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it. Okay. I kind of want to do it because that looks really good, but it's liver and you know how I feel about organs. Okay, fine. Oh, I'm getting that juice. 
I'm scared. You You're brought really me in for one of my favorite shows. You sit me next to this guy who's going way over the top on creepiness. Plus he's eating, which has totally thrown me off. And now you're putting organs in front of me. Jaffy. It's a really like irony. You have it on your lip. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. You didn't put, did you actually put any of the salsa or just the juice? Do you, do you see this? Do you see this uh, salsa see, right I there? I see one slice of tomato on there. Is there a, you're like a backseat eater right here. All right, you're not eating. But I heard humans are addicting. I don't wanna try it. I don't wanna get addicted to that. I'm anti-organ. Well, I'm a, I'm a lover. You're an organ lover. I don't even like hearing someone play the organ. It's my favorite instrument. That's why I'm gay, because guys refer to their p as their organ. I need to take this. I won! <laughs> oh. Oh. I want to try. The silky chicken. Yeah. Ooh, it's fancy chicken soup. Very fancy. Not just any chicken soup. There's a fella named Chicken. Yes. No! <laughs> Beautiful. This is how I want my chicken soup served. This silky chicken in broth is made with wolfberries, ginseng, ginger, red dates, and star anise. Silky chicken? Have you ever had silky chicken? No. I have not. I have always wanted to try silky chicken because it is not something that's easy to come across. S silky chickens are a specific type of chicken, and the chicken meat is, is black. Cool. Is it a special kind of chicken? Yeah. Oh. Oh, that is delightful. Um, I actually watch a lot of YouTube food channels too. So like when they give facts about the certain dish and the history behind it, I don't know, it makes the experience way better. Oh, sh <laughs> Well, chicken soup is always my go-to when I'm feeling sick. So if uh, if this is what Dr. Lecter has prescribed, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take him up on that. This is, is one of the things that I really wanted to try when I saw the show. This tastes like Tinola. It definitely has a different taste than just your ordinary it chicken. It smells egg. pretty amazing. It tastes like a cross between like chicken and turkey. I feel like Anais is so intrigued by the, the, the chicken. <laughs> I've never had this type of chicken. I mean, it's black chicken. Oh, this sucks. Uh, How does it feel being me? It feels wonderful. Is this it's, what you go through yes. every single time? Yes. I understand where you're coming from now. I mean, it's about time, Ed. Thank so, you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Maybe the killer had to cut off his leg just so he'd fit. No, 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 no! I'm lost. Yes, I, I, I need this Rolodex. I love how we finally get like the happy upbeat music when he's cooking human. A hundred percent not, no, see. Oh my God, my heart. Look at that, It's this is gonna be fantastic. Absolutely not eating. It looks spot on. This asabuco is served with a saffron scented risotto and some zucchini balls. Eyeballs to be exact. It's too much for me because that looks like friggin' leg bone. <laughs> I just don't like seeing it like on the bone. Even I'm weird like that. I'm like that with baby back ribs. Oh my God, I'm really unsettled. I'm uncomfortable. Do you not want to eat this, Arya? Because I was talking to Chef Ash earlier, sorry. <laughs> And, uh, you know, she told me that she was gonna, if you didn't want to eat this, she was gonna make you something else. That is a shin! <laughs> what is wrong with you guys? She's got a, a backup meal for you here. I don't know if you wanna, if Why you prefer, you to, you you prefer to eat this instead. <laughs> here you go. The fact that it looks spot on, I, my brain is just telling me, nope, don't do it. Mm. I'm, I'm, a, this is literally on Ease's like, <laughs> Leg right now. It is. So, has anyone heard from. We just. Uh, what? Oh, you're such a. D <laughs> He's not helping. <clears throat> and he hasn't been helping. <clears throat> What's that say? <laughs> oh, no, not Chef oh, Ash! Give, please give my compliments oh, to the chef. Oh, Chef Ash! It was Chef <laughs> Ash's last meal. Oh! She put everything she had in here. Well, well guys, <laughs> that is it. That is our challenge. Yeah! I did it. Congratulations, Sharon and Zaria. You guys were able to avoid some delicious dishes, and for that, we have a molto delicioso reward. Ooh. The jamón ibérico. Oh, jamón ibérico. The very, very rare treat. What is that? It's what did you cut it into? a full leg of pork there. What a way Why to cut it. I know. Why such a skinny piece? 
some red wine. They're drinking some, yeah, red wine. There's wine. <laughs> wow. The heck. Yes, Nicole's hooking it up. And a nice glass of Chianti. Oh, I do like this. Nicole, Chef Ash also left me a present that I found in her sleeve. <laughs> she would like me to enjoy every part of her today. For our winners, we have a beautiful Hamon Birico that goes perfectly with a delicately chilled glass of Chianti. That is There we go, really this good. is a good. That's a good slice right there. Finally, she eats something. Mmm. It's good. Um, it's very good. That's good. That's very good. Unfortunately, Anais, Izzy, and Julian, you guys were tempted, and for that, you must suffer the consequences. Let's go! Oh, the tongue. Mm hmm. It's balls. <laughs> balls. Tongue! Oh, I love lingua, though. Oh, it's a tongue? It's the opposite of balls. <laughs> Literally. I, I do enjoy tongue time to time. Well, I enjoy tongue time to time too, but I think we enjoy it differently. <gasps> Ew! Are you eating this? You're goddamn eating this. I would like to eat some tongue. Inspired by the ancient Romans who feasted on flamingo tongues, this long d'agneau de papillotes is served with a sauce of duxelles and oyster mushrooms. I can't even. <laughs> oh my god, get that out of your mouth. You're ruining my, my zen here. I am? Ah, you did it! This is not a punishment. This is fantastic. I am not even looking over there. Ew, bitch. I can see the taste buds on this thing. <laughs> Now those taste buds are tasty. tasty. Am I right? Oh man, that's so <laughs> that's so tough. It's the texture. The one thing that saves it is what always saves it: a good wine. <laughs> Cheers. Absolutely not. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Try Not to Eat on People vs. Food. What did you think of all of these crazy Dr. Hannibal Lecter dishes? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to tell us what else you want to see on future episodes of People vs. Food. I read all of those comments. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. It's like you and the cow are like. We're like French kissing. Out. Yeah. Most action I've gotten in weeks. Am I right? <laughs> tongue on tongue with a cow. Oh. <laughs>